Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Beeline. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a product review of this um, moisturizing spray by Cantu Shea Butter. Yeah, it's a new moisturizing spray specifically for natural hair. That's how they advertise it. Um, so let's get on into my review of it. I have used it, I don't even know how many times. I know it's been at least five, at least five. It looks kind of like um, if you're familiar with breast milk or coconut milk, it even says that it is coconut milk shine and hold mist. So coconut milk is a very good way to describe it. So I hope you can see it. It is a liquid. It just looks and feels like white water, if you will. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, I can't get enough of this. It smells delicious. It really smells delicious. It, it immediately puts me in the mind of a pina colada. I get pineapple, maybe like guava, coconut, and sweet. Yeah, it smells sweet. So if you are sensitive to fragrances, um, I don't think this is going to be the spray for you because one thing that I do notice is that when I use it on my hair in terms of the fragrance it lasts for a little while so when the wind blows I do get a whiff of it all throughout the day now personally I enjoy that but if you don't like that kind of stuff I don't I don't know about this one for you it has so many wonderful natural ingredients I mean Y'all, the first three ingredients are water, fragrance, and glycerin. After that, it's just a whole bunch of butters, extracts, and oils. Needless to say, that's another plus. I need as many natural ingredients in my hair as possible. And I actually try to see how this compares to the Shea Moisture Moisture Mist that I had before. I think it's the one with the green label. I can't remember the specific name, but I'll insert it right here. I use that for... I just used it until it was gone. That's how much I enjoyed using that spray. I have absolutely no complaints about that spray. I just wanted to try something different just to see how it would work in my hair. So far, they are very comparable. So if you're looking for something that compares to um, the Shea Moisture Moisture Spray, then you might want to look into this. As far as the price goes, I paid either $7.99 or $8.99 for it. I can't remember whether it was $8 or $9. And I got it at my local beauty supply store as far as I'm concerned eight or nine dollars was not a lot of money to pay for a, a natural moisturizing spray and you get 8.4 fluid ounces if you have type 4 hair then you're going to uh, be able to identify with what I'm about to say sometimes my hair is very much moisturized it's not dry at all it's very moisturized but to look at it it would look like it is dry it has a very dry ashy appearance sometimes and in those times when I know it's moisturized I would reach for like my gloss um, shine gloss and shine spray by cream of nature or just get a shiny oil like maybe coconut oil olive oil or something to put on my hair just to give it a boost of shine well when I use this on my hair it is sufficient to give my hair a nice shine I use this as the liquid component in the lock method when I'm moisturizing and sealing my hair and like I said, I get a very nice shine. And in fact, I'm going to insert a picture here to show you, just to give you an example of how my hair looks when I use this. It makes my hair soft. It says that it has lasting moisture and it 
uh, rehydrates and refreshes curls. I have never used it to refresh any of my curls, but I have used it to hydrate and rehydrate my hair. And I have to say that, yes, it absolutely does that. It's, how did you feel about it? If you purchased it and used it, how did you feel about it? Uh, is it a keeper? Did you end up having to throw it away or give it away? How did you honestly feel about it? Um, let us know. And until the next time, be blessed. Bye.